What's, I can't do it. What's up YouTube, Chris here, back with another video. Today we're gonna be checking out a kid's bike for once, but this is the Roscoe. So the ever popular adults line with all the Roscoes in it, they also make it all the way down to a 20 inch bike. If you haven't checked this out, it's honestly one of the coolest bikes out there right now. So with this one, it is a 20 inch. They do make a 24, which has some teeny tweaks to it, but really the biggest change is just the wheel size. So the Roscoe line is designed to be a trail bike, a fun, playful, jump around, do anything trail bike. A relaxed, comfortable geometry which rolls over rough terrain fast, and they've pretty much done the exact same thing from the adult one, put it in a junior size, teeny tiny tweaks to it. Big change you'll notice is they have removed the front fork from it. They've just put a standard metal one, no suspension to it. For the most part, it is not needed to have suspension on kids' bikes. You're looking at 50 to 100 pounds maybe of human kind of rolling down a trail. Once you put on these bigger size tires, that's gonna absorb most of the little stuff. And on the bigger hits anyway, that suspension only had so much play anyway, it probably did nothing. For the lighter kids, it probably wasn't even effective enough to push down the weight. And for the heavier kids, they were probably too heavy and crushed it anyway. So suspension is kind of overrated you can actually get away with a, just a rigid front to it. And the big benefit there is you save so much weight. So this brings down the weight in the front end and that's gonna make the overall bike experience for the kid much better. They're gonna be throwing it around a little more nimble. It's gonna be easier to handle. This is just gonna be a better bike for them. So the Roscoe 20 inch and 24, both made with aluminum. They're both higher end silver aluminum. So they're gonna just be that nice lightweight but affordable priced one integrated cables, no dropper posts on either the 24 or the 20. And then the little downside with that is you can't even add a dropper post after the fact, which is a little bit sucky. Again, one dropper post on a small kid's like bike like this is gonna add a huge amount of weight relative to their size. So it's not the biggest downside in the world. It's not an XC bike, so you won't need that seat height hiked all the way up. Get it to that comfy in-between middle kind of size. Plus size wheels for kids are actually just a 2.4. So this is a standard size adult high end mountain bike now. Width of tire, but on a junior bike, it's gonna be a lot softer rolling for them. It's gonna be comfier and grip more, which is gonna be really nice for them. It'll just make more of a trail bike experience. You still have a pretty aggressive geometry in kind of the agileness of it. Very easy for them to correct themselves, roll over roots and stuff, which for us would be a very technical thing would be a very easy technical thing for them. It makes it more difficult. So making it a little more agile instead of so raked out is actually gonna add some control back to them as opposed to letting the bike roll over it as easy as possible. This will actually allow them to maneuver. You know, a two inch log to you isn't much, but to a kid, it, it's a pretty big deal. So Trek has been making this for a couple of years now. They haven't changed it over the years. They've just kept bringing it out. They put simple cable disc brakes on it. Again, it's just lighter weight. You can run it, it's cheaper. For children as well, they're always growing. So putting on a super high-end brake to it, which again, their weight, they might not notice a full potential of a hydraulic disc brake on there. The cable disc brake stops just fine, way better than the rim brake and is gonna keep that cost down. They do have a one by drivetrain on it. So again, it's gonna keep it a little more simple for them. It is just a Shimano Tourney TX. I don't know if they've changed it any which way to create more tension in the derailleur. Um, so I don't know if it'll get all the benefits of a true one by like a quieter bike, less slapping around of the chain. It will have fast shifting for them. You know, it's nothing crazy, but you do get that big eight speed on the back there. Huge range for them a fairly small one in the front. So this is gonna be a bike that you can take your kid with you to any trail system you do, almost. Obviously not black diamond, double black diamond in Whistler Bike Park, but many kids could rip on this in that exact same terrain. It has all the features of an adult bike with a pretty good price tag on it. These ones here will be around the $600 mark or less for the 20, teeny bit more for the 24. Again, it's not a huge increase. 
I would like to see Trek potentially make a 26 inch wheel. That 24 to 27 and a half, although the frame sizes are pretty close, it's still a big standover, kind of a big standover change for them. And I think we could sell a lot of these ones to a lot of people who are right in that in-between stages. So why would you buy this for your kid? If you are starting to adventure a little bit more with your kid in the off-road trail of things, or even just going camping more, staying in your local area, this is gonna make their ride a lot better. It is designed for the off-road, so it's gonna be easier for them to manipulate their bike off-road with these benefits by lightening out the front wind, front end, big wide tires. It's actually gonna make it just more enjoyable and easier for them. You'll actually get a little faster roll with a wider tire and a bit taller tire. What's interesting is they do have some upgradable parts. You know, the, the stem is run with a 31.8 uh, handlebar, so that's kind of cool. You can actually switch that out for a carbon one if you want. It's a little easier to find than the standard junior style. Um, the seat post clamps are all the same, so you can put a comfier seat on there. So your kid's gonna appreciate a bike of this caliber no matter what they're doing. Even if they're just cruising around town, now hopping off curbs, cutting through grass is gonna be easier. It's kind of like the fat bike thing for adults with that wider, softer tire. No matter where you're going, whether it's sandy, deep grass, uh, muddy terrain, it's gonna perform better for them and be a little softer and more forgiving. Now you can go a bit fat biking on this, drop that pressure down and do a full on winter bike. We have seen a few bikes do it. I've seen a 24 inch studdable, but I have not seen a 20 inch studdable tire. They are not tubeless. Um, I don't think you'd need to worry about that. It's a lot more maintenance than I think it's worth with a kid's bike. And many uh, shops actually have a trade-in program where you can get up to half back within two years of trade-in. So that's kind of cool, check that out. So you'd actually end up on a high-end bike, trade it in for another high-end bike, and then when you're in the adult ones, it's a lot, it's gonna hurt a lot less, let's say, um, than say, just buying one right out of the bat. Otherwise, you're looking at a couple hundred dollars less, a couple hundred dollars less, then you get to the adult bikes and they actually wanna do more trail riding. And you're gonna feel that bite when you have to jump up to the thousand plus, as opposed to being halfway there anyway. <laughs> so the Roscoe is a kid's bike, which mimics the adult's bike. It is exactly what you want out of it. One, it looks really cool. Two, it performs superbly. And three, it's a budget price. So without spending $2,500 on a full suspension, you can keep a lightweight frame for them, a lightweight bike, and actually have a lot of performance by just adding those plus size wheels and a more trail geometry than compared to like a pre-cal range or a more entry level kids bike. Cable disc brakes, like I said, they're gonna be a little bit not as good as a hydraulic, but I don't think they'll notice. At this level, they're probably just starting out and these are gonna grip a thousand times better than the rim brakes. The Tony TX, you know, again, it's not a crazy high end set, but they're probably only in this for a year to two, maybe three if you're really pushing it before they're upgrading anyway. And things like that, you could change out yourself being that it's an adult size perk on a kid's bike. It makes it much more readily available to upgrade to a higher end one like an Atlas, like an Altus from the Merlin 6 should fit right on there. Double check with your bike shop. Um, but parts like that should be much more user-friendly to switch out, and you could tweak this to make it an even better bike for them. Okay, so this was just a short little video. The Roscoe series doesn't just start at the Roscoe 6, it actually starts all the way down at this, the Roscoe 20. These things sell like crazy, they don't make a crazy amount of them, or they sell insanely crazy, I don't know which. But if you're looking to get your kid into mountain biking or want a cooler looking bike than a standard kid's bike, and you're spoiling yourself, look at this, think about the trade-in programs, and really take advantage of the bikes that kids can have nowadays. If I had this part spec on my entry-level full suspension when I first started, or even just this option of this bike to exist, I think I'd take it. It's honestly a good bike. It's gonna be fast rolling. They're not gonna miss the suspension. Trust me on that. Unless they're doing massive drops, but even a small drop, remember, there are 100 pounds or less for the most part on these bikes, so the momentum of them pushing down is not gonna be crazy high. They're not gonna need it. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Check out the Roscoe 6, 7, and 8 videos I've maybe got up. Check out my other videos. Like and subscribe if you already have one of these or your kid already owns one of them because it would be awesome to see. And uh, yeah, good luck, guys. Thank you.